Good morning, Hunter High. It's Wednesday, February 5th, 2020. I'm Hannah. And I'm Isabel, and you're watching Wolverine, Wolverine TV. Students, please turn in your registration card and off-campus forms to the Counseling Center if you have not done so this week to get your, this is the week to get your course selection for next year. Calling all boys! Sign up to perform at the Silhouette Showcase Friday, February 21st at 7 p.m. You will get a free shirt and have so much fun learning some of the dance routines. Male drill is a blast, so come and show off your dance skills. Practice starts Monday at 7 a.m. in the main gym. Do you have old books you want to get rid of? FCCLA is having a book drive February 10th through the 21st to donate to the Ronald McDonald's House and Nursing Homes. Boxes will be in the hallways and commons, so bring books to school and drop it off. For every three books you bring to the FCCLA table during lunch, you will also get a free bag of gummy worms. We also will be collecting books during parent-teacher conferences. For the class of 2020, 183 out of 550 students have submitted their FAFSA applications. We earned 466,300 in Pell Grants monies. Financial aid night is today at 4 p.m. in the Hunter High School Library. Bring required documents with you to file for a financial application. You also can earn free CPA. DECA had a very successful region competition this last Friday. We are pleased to announce that Dulce Vargas placed third in hospitality and tourism, Becca Moyes placed second in entrepreneurship, Marlene Diaz placed third in principles of marketing, Kaya Barron and Andrew Dunn placed first in business, law, and ethics. Congratulations to all of you. Sweetheart's Dance is on Saturday in the Commons area. Tickets are $10 each and can be purchased during both lunches. So ladies, if you haven't already, make sure to ask that sweetie in your life to the dance. Class fees have been downloaded. You can start paying your class fees online or at the accounting office before school, after school, and during both lunches. Students, our first progress reports for third quarter will be submitted tomorrow, and parent-teacher conferences are next week. Be sure to continue to work hard and keep your grades up. And now, sports. Tomorrow, the freshman basketball team will be playing Granger here starting at 6 p.m. and softball open gym is at 7 p.m. in the auxiliary gym. That is all for now. Thank you for watching Wolverine, Wolverine TV. Congratulations to December's Wolverines of the Month. Ninth grade, V. Tran. Tenth grade, Lucian Harvey. 11th grade, Betsy Hernandez Herrera. 12th grade, Anne McGee. Way to go, Wolverines! Hello, I'm Gage. We're today with Wolverine TV, and I'm here with Eric Ramos. And we are talking about the play Outsiders, which he helps direct with Miss Park. Yeah. I just have a few questions uh -huh. for you I'd like to ask. So, what is the play The Outsiders about? So um, it's um, a lot of you, I don't know if you have um, read this, but it's H.S. Hinton's uh, novel, The Outsiders, which is a coming of age novel. It was the first of its kind. So it just shows the progression of um, two different people, two different kinds of people, like rich people and poor people uh, fighting about one common issue, which is the socioeconomic status of themselves. It's really interesting. It has love, it has death, it has all sorts of stuff, like what you want to see in a play, what you want to see in a movie, it, it has. All right. Now, when is the show? So the show runs February 5th, 6th, and 7th at 7 p.m. Um, so yeah, come see that. It's only $5 at the door. Well, you heard it here first, folks. Come see it. The Outsiders.